Good morning everyone, Dashing Dink coming at you again with another day of dashing. Here in beautiful Bemidji, Minnesota, the northern part of the United States. It's cold. No, actually today it's pretty good. Uh, we're starting out at around 20 degrees above zero, so not too shabby. It's supposed to be in the 30s today. Um, we are currently working on trying to get our acceptance rating up to 100% and we're doing that by taking every single order. We didn't get very far yesterday. We did nine deliveries and we only went up by one acceptance point. We are going to continue to work on the acceptance rate today. I just turned the app on and ha, look at that. We're getting our first order. So we've got a 450 going 3.9 miles from McDonald's. So we're gonna head over to McDonald's here on the north side of town. We're gonna to grab that order and we're gonna get this day started. Let's see what the AR does. You know, one of the things that I was gonna say, uh, we just got that delivery for Christopher dropped off too. I think I forgot to record it. But anyway, one of the things I was gonna say before we got that order is does does this happen to anyone else? So when I got to the mall parking lot this morning, which is our favorite place to park, I turned the app on and before you hit dash now, my map showed very busy. And then I hit dash now and I selected a time and it says previously busy hot spots. There's nothing red on the map. I don't know if that's a carryover from like the night before and it's just a, a weird little, I don't even want to say glitch. I'm just wondering if this happens to anybody else. Do you ever go out and you begin to dash and it says it's busy or very busy or whatever and then you turn it on and there's nothing, it's just crickets? I mean, yes, I got that order right away, but one, it wasn't a very good order, and two, I've gotten nothing since, so just wondering. All right, guys, we just received a, five, gosh, I want to say 556. I think it was going less than two miles from Taco Bell. So we were just past Taco Bell, so I'm kind of going around the block, but unfortunately, the block that I'm going around is a long block. <laughs> But we did not make it back to the mall parking lot, so that's cool. Um, even though it's our favorite place to park, I want to stay busy. So let's see if this raises our acceptance rating. The first one did not. We are still at 91%. So let's head on over to Taco Bell and pick up this order. Good morning. I have an order from Madeline. Okay. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Doing well. <laughs> Glad for the warmer weather. <laughs> Thank you so much. You. Have a good day. Oops. All right, we got the order from Madeline dropped off, and before we even pulled out of the parking lot there, we got our next order. Ah. Uh, this is a tough challenge because I got this order and the one for Madeline and this one did not bring my acceptance rating up. We got a 303 to go 3.9 miles <laughs> from McDonald's. So my guess is that there is no tip or very little tip on this order. But I told you guys I would take every one, so. We're gonna head over there and pick it up. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.
Good morning. Enjoy. Thank you. So Have a much. great day. You too. Thank you. All right. So we just dropped off the McDonald's order for I believe it's Rian or Rian. Um, Look like she might have been a college student, so maybe she doesn't have a lot of money <laughs> and can't tip very well. But whatever the case is, we're taking every order, so it doesn't really matter. And before I even got my vehicle into reverse and we were backing out of the parking lot, I got a shop and deliver order from Walgreens for $6.44, I believe. And I am not even remotely aware of how many miles it was because I'm just popping everything off. So we'll see if our acceptance rate has gone up yet. I haven't even looked, but I will get back to you on that. Twenty-four ounce vegetable oil. Incorrect. Twenty-four. That's. It's got to be correct. Oh. What is there? Two different kinds. Oh, that was canola. All right. So we need two of those. Canola. Oh, they're out of it. Robert, so yeah. yeah, no problem, man. Have a, Have a good day. All right, everyone, we are here in the mall parking lot, our favorite place to park. And we got the delivery dropped off to Robert, I believe his name was, um, from Walgreens. And we haven't received another order yet, but um, I was just going to say, our acceptance rate still has not gone up it is setting at 91 percent now we've only done four orders so far today and they've been small orders we are at 91 percent and we are not getting any outrageously great bangers so is acceptance rate really a key factor i mean i've seen a three dollar order today i've seen a four dollar order today i've seen a six dollar order today and a five dollar order today we're sitting at 19 dollars and some change um it's been what has it been we started at 752 so it's been uh, about an hour and 20 minutes so <laughs> we are not doing so great um but and while I've got this on, I want to give a huge shout out to Dashing Across America. Congratulations, Chuck, on 5,000 subscribers. Good job, man. Uh, I'm super happy for you, super stoked. I'm glad that you reached that milestone and you deserve it. Enjoy it and congratulations. All right, we just received our next order. It is $5 to go 1.6 miles, I believe it was. And we're gonna go pick it up at Taco Bell. So we're gonna head over to the border. See you in a bit. Nine items, all food. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Yes, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Hello. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Thank you. 
All right, everyone, we are in the mall parking lot, our favorite place to park. And I've been sitting here now for probably a good 15 minutes. And we've not gotten a single offer. I'm still sitting at 91% uh, acceptance rate. This is a normal Tuesday in my area. I normally do not work Tuesdays because of this, but it is dead. <laughs> All right, it took quite a while, but uh, I actually left the mall parking lot, which is our favorite place to park, and I kind of took a cruise hoping that I would drive around somewhere where there was some activity. And we finally got a Walgreens order. We're picking up two items for, I think, $8.47, but it's going a little over 11 miles. All right, you guys, um, I just shopped the two items at Walgreens and we're heading to the customer's house. <laughs> Take the next right onto Bemidji Avenue North that, Great River Road. That has got to be the strangest, uh, maybe not the strangest, but one of the strangest um, shopping orders I've ever done. Um, I picked up a some male enhancement supplements and a well it's just plain and jane called a stroker so we're gonna get that out to the customer thank you for your order have a wonderful day all right, everyone, we just got back into town and we received uh, our first order. $6.15 to go like 10 and a half miles from McDonald's. But uh, the good thing about this is we're about four miles from the McDonald's that we have to go to. Um, it's the McDonald's on the north end of town and I'm clear on the south end of town right now. So. Um, by the time we get this, it might only be like six, six and a half miles, so we'll see. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone, we've got 5.2 miles to go to get to this uh, customer, deliver this McDonald's, and um, then we'll head back towards town and see what else we can get. We still have not broken 91%. All right, thank you very much for your order. I appreciate the business. Enjoy your McDonald's and have a wonderful day. All right, everyone, we just got back into town and I just accepted a 602 to go like 2.7 or 2.6 miles, something like that, two point something, uh, from Tapatillos Mexican Restaurant. So we're just gonna head down here a couple of blocks to Tapatillos and Hopefully the order is ready to go. All right, um, we just pulled into Tapatios. I hit arrived at store, but my phone went off and it said that I missed an order opportunity. I don't know if they tried to stack it, but there was no, like I got no notification. So I don't know if something's messed up or what. Um, I'm trying to look and see. <laughs> I don't, I don't see anything, but let's go in and get this top of Tios. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see. Hi. 
Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so these are the things that I'm talking about when it comes to the DoorDash app. There are so many bugs, whether it's the app crashing in the middle of a delivery or whether it's the app saying it's looking for orders and yet all of a sudden you get put into pause mode because something's goofy. So it did try to send me a stack, apparently, because now my acceptance rate is down to 90%. You know, and I've been out here busting my butt trying to get this acceptance rate up for you guys just to see what kind of a grind we have to go on to get it to 100%. And I am just, I mean, I can't say that I'm livid, but I am upset about it because DoorDash needs to make sure that their stuff is working properly at all times. I mean, this is ridiculous because now we've just, you know, lost how much work. That stack that they tried to add on that I never got a notification for, never had anything come up on my screen, is now gonna cost me 99 more deliveries to get to 100% because DoorDash, DoorDash's app just decided, well, I'm not gonna show them anything. I'm just gonna say you missed an opportunity. So we'll see what happens moving forward. Order for Addison? Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, you too. All right, we um we just dropped off that Tapatillos Mexican restaurant order for Addison and we immediately got um a stack. It just came in together is all. But we're doing uh seven dollars and 49 cents it's for three point some miles we've got an order that we're picking up from taco bell and then we have another order that we're picking up i think it was from hardy's uh two different pickups two different drop-offs so Okay, we got the uh, Taco Bell and the hot bag. Now we're gonna head over to Hardee's. So, I wanna double check this. Um, yeah, she didn't have a drink, so. Okay, let's go over to Hardee's and grab the second one. Isaac. All right, man. Thank you. Ah! You Isaac? Yep. All right. How you doing? Pretty good. Awesome. And there you go. Enjoy. Thank Have you. a wonderful day. Um, this next one is going to a place I, I mean, I, I pretty much know where it's at, but, oh wait, maybe I don't. <laughs> I thought I was going somewhere else. What, what does this say? 
Oh. Well, evidently I went the wrong way. I guess we all make mistakes when it comes to directions, huh? Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> I was supposed to go north instead of south. Alright, let's get over there and drop this off. All right, thank you so much for your order. I appreciate the business and you have a wonderful day. Enjoy your Taco Bell. All right, everyone. Um, I did do a little something to my back when I slipped. <laughs> so I'm gonna call it a day, unfortunately. And the real unfortunate thing is we went backwards today. Um, thank you, Tony Shu and DoorDash, for having issues with your app and me getting absolutely no notification on screen or uh, audibly stating that I was getting a stacked order. So we backed down to 90% AR and we're not going to gain that back until 97 or 98 more deliveries from now. <laughs> but I want to thank you guys a great deal for joining me today. I hope that you're enjoying this series. It's, it hasn't been too bad, but today was definitely a struggle. And um, I'm basically doing it just to show everybody the grind that is involved if you want to get your AR up there and I'm also doing it to show you is it really worth it I think a lot of us out there that have been doing this for a while and know what we're doing are for the most part cherry pickers we pick the orders that make the most sense to us. It's not necessarily about the dollars all the time because we might pick something or take something that is a little less dollars and a lot more miles if it's bringing us in the direction that we want to go because it makes the most sense for what we're doing at that moment in time. So I think that we're cherry pickers in the sense of we take the orders that best suit us for the situation that we're in. I'm going to continue this going as long as you guys are enjoying the content. If you guys are enjoying my struggle. Um, you know, like I said, we, we haven't done bad. Um, I've done, this is the third part of this series now. And today was really the only bad day. Um, and... Like I said, if it wouldn't have been for some issues with DoorDash and notifications, who knows? We might be at 92% right now. I have no idea. But currently, we're setting at 90. We went backwards um, via no fault of our own. But it is what it is. I can't change it. I can't call DoorDash and say, hey, I never got a notification. I want my 91% back. I probably could. But is it really worth the fight and the argument? Not really. So, let me know in the comments below if you like what you're seeing. I'll continue this series. If not, we'll just go out and we'll DoorDash. And we'll try to have a good time doing that. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking, sharing. I appreciate all the support. This is Dashing Dink with another dash saying, enjoy your day. Have fun. We'll see you next time. Thank you.